Let us now talk about the interval type. As the name suggests, they are used to express time intervals. The interval year to month indicates a time interval in years and months. It is specified as the keyword interval year, year precision to month, where year precision can be from 0 to 9 with a default value of 2. For example, in the code snippet, we have defined a variable lint of type interval year to month, which can take up to 3 years precision. I am illustrating the various ways of assigning literal values to it. So I can express it with interval 123-2 year to month format, where 123 stands for years and 2 for months. I can just use the literal 123-2 to assign value to it. I can assign value just for the year as in interval 123 year and just for the month as in interval 12 month. Interval day to second is used to express interval of time in days and seconds. It is of use when we want to get time differences between two timestamps down to the fractional seconds. The syntax for declaring a variable of this type is interval day day precision to second with fractional second precision. The day precision ranges from 0 to 9 with a default of 2 and fractional second range is from 0 to 9 with a default of 6. Here is a code snippet where we have declared a variable lint which is of type interval day to second with a day precision of 2 and a second precision of 2. We can assign value to it in the form of a literal such as 10 day, 1 hour, 10 minutes, 11 seconds and 12 milliseconds. We can also express the same by assigning interval 10 day, 1 hour, 10 minutes, 11.12 day to second literal to it. However, note that in PL SQL, you cannot specify day or second precision in a date literal when assigning it to a day to second variable. You can assign just an interval of 10 days or 12 seconds to the variable. Interval day to second is also extremely useful in finding time differences between timestamps down to fractional seconds, which might be required for some applications. Here, we have defined two timestamps with time zone data type L timestamp begin, which has assigned a value of 2nd November 2013, 10 am Pacific Standard Time with daylight savings. L timestamp end is assigned a value of 3rd November 2013, 10 am Pacific Standard Time. Daylight savings time ended on November 3rd. Then we defined a variable lint of type interval day to second to hold the difference of the two timestamps. You would notice that the interval reported would be 2 days and 1 hour and not just 2 days as it is also accounting for the daylight savings time. I took these days in this example just to make the point that how timestamp with time zone data types and interval data types take into account the daylight savings time and are very accurate for applications dealing with schedules, time differences, etc. In this example, I want to illustrate to you how the timestamp with time zone data type can be useful in calendar or scheduling applications and can help avoid the ambiguities with the time changes for the daylight savings. I define a timestamp variable L timestamp and a timestamp with time zone variable L timestamp TZ. I also define L timestamp new of type timestamp and L timestamp TZ new of type timestamp with time zone to hold the new values. I have defined an interval day to second variable with a precision of 2 for day and second and assigned it a value of 7 days. I could have alternatively done it simply by using interval 7 day. I have purposely chosen the date as 2nd November 2013 as the daylight savings time ended in USA on November 3rd. I have assigned a starting date of 2nd November 2013 10 am Pacific time to both the variables and then I add 7 days interval to both the times. After that I am printing the new values onto the screen. Let me run this block. Notice 
the new time with the timestamp data type is 9th November 2013 10 a.m. However, the timestamp with time zone data type variables value is 9th November 2013 9 a.m. accounting for the adjustment for the end of daylight savings. To demonstrate how integral type accounts for time changes, let me define two timestamps with time zone variables L timestamp begin and L timestamp end. L timestamp begin has been assigned a value of 2nd November 2013 10 a.m. Pacific time and L timestamp end has been assigned a value of 4th November 2013 10 a.m. Pacific. I have defined L int ds as day to second interval data type with a precision of 2 for days and fractional seconds. Just to show you how to define interval year to month variable, I have defined L int ym as interval year to month type with a 3 year precision. I can take the difference of the two time variables and assign it to interval day to second variable as I have done in the execution section, assigning L int ds the difference of the two time variables. Let us run this block. Notice from the console output that the difference in the time between the two variables is not just two days but two days and one hour to account for the daylight saving changes. Here we saw how to use interval data type for getting fractional second time differences and also illustrated that the interval data type accounts for the daylight saving changes.